Opposition is mounting to several Senate bills that are an outgrowth of a series of O&R reports on the state's veterans centers. While the Senate has passed some of the bills by large margins, another is running into stiff opposition. And the future of all the bills in the House of Representatives appears uncertain at best. The Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs, the War Veterans Commission, Veterans Service Organizations, and the Veterans Council have all come out against Senate Bill 467, a proposal from Senator Frank Simpson that would give the governor the power to select the executive director of the embattled agency. The War Veterans Commission has that authority now. Many see the legislation as basically shutting down the commission, which has long been under the control of the big three veterans groups, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the American Legion, and the Disabled American Vets. Lance Room is adjutant of the Oklahoma American Legion, an organization that has four members on the War Veterans Commission. I pray that it turns out good whichever way it goes, but um, I, I think that we've just got a good product. I think we've just now got it fixed and got, got all the kinks worked out. And not that it's new or anything, but I think, I think we've got it going in a good direction and I'd hate to upset that. Rooms believes the real plan is to change the membership mix on that War Veterans Commission. They want to dilute this, this commission and um, with six different service organizations, but they don't, they're not savvy to the issues and policies that, these, that, we're, that we're, you know, used to every day. Dennis Cougar Hammonds is commander of the Disabled American Veterans. He thinks the War Commission and the ODVA should just be left alone. But I don't think anyone right now can do anything more than is being done by our War Commissioners and the leadership of ODVA that's in place right now and some of them coming on board, and they're veterans. The War Veterans Commission is adamant about the reasons for their opposition to Senate Bill 467 and their concern about other measures as well. Commissioner Tommy Sellers has been following the legislation on behalf of the full commission. Specifically, the oversight function being taken away from the commission. And we know there's been many, many things that have been talked about about the fact of whether or not this is just ground protecting or not. It's about the veteran. It's not about the War Veterans Commission. I want to make sure everybody understands that. And now the Veterans Council, a group of 24 statewide veterans groups, has also voted to oppose the bill. War Veterans Commission member Jerry Riley is also a member of the Veterans Council. And they had drafted a, a letter to uh, Senator Simpson that uh, the full council uh, has uh, voted to uh, unanimously voted to uh, oppose Senate Bill 467. War Veterans Commission Chairman Rich Putnam put it in stronger terms. I, I think this sorry legislative maneuvering and, and a power grabbing affair uh, is, uh, is quite beneath uh, representatives of free people, especially when it's detrimental to those who have protected the free people. The opposition appears to be having an impact on state lawmakers. In the Senate, where Simpson's first round of veterans bills sailed through on unanimous votes, during debate on one of his least controversial measures, Senate Bill 235, opposition began to appear. Due to a lot of communication that I've had from interested individuals, uh, uh, today, uh, I hope I'm wrong, Senator, but I can't support your bill today. The veterans in my area who are expressing some real concerns to me, uh, feeling that uh, if the commission um, is dismantled somehow, that they won't have the voice that they have today. Senator Simpson found himself having to put to rest rumors and assure fellow lawmakers he was not taking away anyone's power. The director runs the, the, the centers and the agency. The War Veterans Commission provides oversight under the umbrella of the Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs, which includes the War Veterans Commission, the director, and the administrators at each center. This defines the responsibilities more clearly and, and matches what they're currently doing. And Simpson responded to concerns that the changes would take veterans out of the jobs of taking care of veterans. 
but Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs has the worst record in the state for employing veterans. That is not veterans taking care of veterans. That is the good old boys taking care of the good old boys in that organization. While Senate Bill 235 won approval in the Senate, what happens to Senator Simpson's series of bills once they get to the House is another matter. Representative Gary Bands is chairman of the House Veterans and Military Affairs Committee. He created the Honor Flight Program, which sends World War II and Korean vets to Washington, D.C. to get their first glimpse of monuments to their service. He is seen as the dean of veterans' issues in the House. Representative Bands says he sees the problems at the Veterans Center as systemic in nature and believes any new law needs to create a clear chain of command and accountability, along with improved funding. And we have some real challenges there because we don't pay very well. Uh, you have an enormous turnover, uh, and you're always you're always a, a victim of of uh, how well people who are employed in those positions how seriously they're going to take their responsibility. Representative Bands says people who have loved ones in the veteran centers also have an oversight role. There's got to be feedback from family members. They've got to pay attention to what's going on. Representative Bands does not expect to see those Senate bills for another two weeks, but as chairman of the House Veterans Committee, he blocked hearings on another ODVA bill. That's an extra layer of bureaucracy that is just, in my view, uh, totally unnecessary. It, it's paramount to uh, having another entity in place that goes to the barnyard and comes back and says, yep, the barn door's open and the horse is gone. Ban says he wants to see the Senate versions of the veterans' bills before passing his final judgment. It's got to be realistic. I mean, uh, asking for cookies and ice cream in the middle of the night when somebody, you know, I mean, that's just, you can't, you can't, we can't be all things to everybody 24-7. You're not set up to do that. We can't hire enough people to do those kind of things. Representative Bands does say he wants to make sure the head of the ODVA does not become a political payoff. You don't want to get in a situation where it is a, it becomes a parking place for future executive officers of this state to put friends who have helped get them in office that don't have a genuine heartbeat and interest in what it is that they're being assigned to do. Senator Simpson has pulled Senate Bill 467 back from a floor vote to shore up support within his own caucus. SB 467 is expected to hit the Senate floor in a few days.